hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode here on the Hermitcraft server, baby, with me, ZF. Hope you're doing very well today. What a boring view to turn around to. Um, last episode, we, of course, made this wonderful room. If you missed it, do go and check it out. It was a very fun episode. We had a lot of fun. We made Roger here, Jolly Roger with the red nose, um, and we managed to finally finish a project. Oh, yes, indeed. And then what I did after the episode, I went ahead and finished it some more. Great. So uh, we now have a white shulker box here, a um, couple more in the dispenser below. I put the carpet back. Excellent stuff. Um, and the main changes really are behind here. We now have four arrow hopper sort of thingy majiggy so we can handle extra arrow um, equivalent -y stuff and it just won't yeah overflow as often. Um, and I also updated our train station here. So instead before, if you remember, we actually had the comparator checking whether the hopper or chest or whatever it was before it went into this. If that had some items in, then it would send the, the hopper thing on its way. Now we haven't. Now we've got it so that it's actually checking the um, chest mine cart itself. It's on a detector rail, so we need to do this like hill start thing where we retract the piston and then it rolls down and fills it all up with arrows back up there. Um, I still need to add an off switch, but that's what I say. The project's finished, but we'll finish a little bit more in the future as well. We'll add an on off switch for the arrow um, shooter, but mostly this, this, this place is done and I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, again, do send your ideas in for what we can do Boop. with this wall over here. Maybe we will just reserve it for future project times. Um, and I still have to do the tunnel over here as well, but that's not what we're going to worry about today. That, I just wanted to give you a quick update on what I did do between episodes. Oh, by the way, the whole, um, this water would never have evaporated above one of these blocks. For some reason, that was in the game for a very short amount of time, and yet that's the piece of information I latched onto. They, they added it and then they removed it again very, very quickly. For some reason, I thought that was the case. So yet again, I managed to get it wrong, even when I thought I was getting it oh so right. Uh, but yeah, let's move back today to work on one of our other projects and try and finish that too. It's the duck game. Yes, it is. Excellent. Okay, so I've done a little bit more work over here as well. Um, I guess let's run through the course, um, what we did last time in case you missed it. You gotta duck, you gotta dip, you gotta dive, you gotta do all the dodgy related things, you gotta bounce around. It's kind of like a little race parkour kind of course. You gotta jump. Duck, oh boy. <laughs> um, and then we the last thing we built um, in a few episodes back was this final little stretch here, which uh, required some piston activity to try and make it work. Uh, as you can see, they're all off at the moment. Uh, didn't know how I was gonna do the timings, but I think I've discovered it. Um, it's not the best solution. The only downside to it right now is it doesn't have a very good off switch, okay? So it's got an on switch but you kind of have to break some redstone to turn it off again. So not the best thing in the world, but uh, let me just kind of show you how it works. So uh, what we've got is a bunch of pistons um, that are going to push blocks down, and I want it to be kind of random. So like whether this is down or this is up or whatever, I want them to be quite random, but I also want them to change quite sporadically as well. So there's uh, two pistons up here. There's one piston under there. There I fell. There's one there and one there, and then there's also a booster thing over here too. I want all of those to trigger at relatively random intervals um, all over the place. So uh, what I've gone and done is designed myself, let's show this one down here, um, a little thing, right? So we've got a dropper hopper combo. Um, now this has got three items in. These are stackable up to 64. This is not. So um, it's going to output different signals depending on which one goes into this hopper. But droppers will put a random one in. It will pick one out of these three and plop it into this hopper, um, which will just feed it straight back in again. But when it is in here, it will get red, um, and it'll either be a one tick signal length or a three signal length, um, depending on what it is. The sword, ah, I turned it on. We can get an example. Okay, so the sword will give off a three signal length, whereas these two items will give off a single length. So you can see, look, single length, three length, single length, three length, single length, single length, and it's random. It's very random, okay? So no matter what it is, one or three, it will also just um, feed back into this block here, which after a short delay of two thingies will re-trigger this again. So it, this is just a little clock, and this is the problem with it, right? To turn this off now, I basically have to break this redstone and place it back down again. Now, it, now it's reset. 
Okay, so everything's off. So uh, we've got two of these little randomizer clock things. We've got one below there and one up here. Exactly the same. We can change the um, chances of different things via this. We might take one of these items out. I don't know yet, um, but we'll kind of give it give it this for now. So uh, we've got two clocks running completely independently from each other, which means we should get some cool randomness between all of these things. So I guess now, we'll actually, yeah, let's let's ba bum. Oh, oh, oh. I broke it. I broke everything. It's on for too long. Uh, okay, like that. Is it clocking? It's clocking. Oh, yes. Okay, let's clock this one. Clocked. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, let's head back this way. Right, so this is where it's going to start from. So you could be like, oh, okay, I can run through there. Oh, no. Oh, I got blocked. Okay, so you could just be like, right, I'm going to duck. Always duck. Why did everything stop? <laughs> I guess it's random, isn't it? Sometimes things might not change. This time around, that's... Uh, up, so we can't go through the shortcut there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, and is it going to boost me? When's it going to boost me? We might need to put this one on a much quicker clock or make it player controlled. Yeah, okay, we did it. Fantastic. Excellent stuff. Um, yeah, you know what? I think just from that little test alone, I'm going to get rid of the redstone dust from each of these and make it just that little bit more likely that... Uh, hey! Come here. <laughs> that uh, the pistons all get triggered. I think that would be a lot better. Wonderful. Okay, so now that we've got that little straight bit worked out, we obviously need to cover it up with a bunch of leaves and make it look all nice um, instead of all this gross redstone everywhere. And then we need to add a few more sections. And I've had even more ideas, um, mainly not my own, uh, other people's ideas um, of other sections to add to this wonderful little race course. So hopefully we can add a few more wrap it back up to uh, some sort of ending position or whatever, and then we can get people to actually race this thing. Is it too much? No, it's not. No, you can't have too many leaves. I could cover the whole thing in leaves and it wouldn't be too much at all. I don't know. <laughs> it's actually missing a little bit up there. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, okay. I think the odd corner poking out actually sells it quite nicely. I quite like it. It kind of doesn't really look like a building, but it isn't a building, is it? It's a weird mini game thing. I think it's okay. So the next little add-on here is going to be quite interesting. Um, I've been inspired uh, by my patrons on the Zedcraft server, um, patreon.com slash zfplays if you want to join. Um, and that is to create some some friends in this race with us, uh, so you'll not be alone. Um, and there's another little awesome trick as well, which many of you said down in the comments, and it's using a trapdoor instead of just using a piston to push you down, if you stand under a trapdoor and you flap it open, you lie down like that in the dirt. Lovely. You kind of have to be stood like deep enough. If it flaps over your head like that, it doesn't work. It kind of needs to like crush you underneath itself like that. So we're going to be using that technology for this. So uh, we're going to have just appeared from up there. We're going to drop down into this dirty mud section where there's going to be a couple of piggly wigglies. Oh, yes, we're going to shove that area down there full of pigs. Um, they're going to basically cause a little bit of struggle, <laughs> a little bit of trouble for you to try and get through because of their collision boxes. Um, how many pigs are around here? I only see two. Okay, follow me, piggy. Oh, wait, no, that's my food. Here, this is the carrot for you. Excellent. Okay, uh, uh, I want your friend as well. That's it. Oh, you, you guys are speedy. You must be starving. Okay, wait, which way am I going? <laughs> right, so if we lure these into there, we can start breeding them up. I'm going to guess we need sort of maybe... There's a third pig! Oh, this just gets better and better. Um, Yeah, we can start breeding them up. We, we need maybe between 10 and 20 pigs in there, I think, for it to really cause some issues. Um, But when you're face first down in the dirt like that, it's, it's going to be surprisingly difficult to make your way through with a bunch of pigs all jammed in there as well. So piggies... um. Please, uh, f fall in. Go. I, I, I'm not, I don't know how to talk pig. Okay, one. <laughs> we have one. Fantastic. Oh, no, they're too clever. They're cleverer than I. And that's a weird sight. Did you see them? <laughs> they were like mega pig, limousine pig. Oh, dear. Okay, so we got a baby now. That's four in there. Um, when he grows up, we can just start breeding them like crazy. But let's, uh, what? Why are you vibrating? Do you think you can escape over there? Because you can't. You can't play. I hope all of them don't go that way. That's going to be terrible. Okay, so if we squash ourselves like that. Hello, little baby. You're taller than I am. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. 
Oh, we have problems. Okay, I'm gonna have to put some furnaces or something just underneath this red block. Just so they can't go through. You can fit! Oh no, you can't fit. Okay, you're, you're big and fat. Great. So, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, just, I guess, carry on breeding these up as we continue to build elements on this. And, um, what am I technically doing right now? Other than, you know, eating mud and, uh, being, like, covered in gross pig smell. But I'm kind of swimming. Now, this is actually quite horrible, now that I've built it. Um, yeah, we're building sort of an underwater tunnel thing. Underground, underwater, all the bad stuff. If you get kind of claustrophobic and stuff, this would be horrible in real life. It's not nice. Anyway, so when you go into water, you can swim. Oh, if you hold control, you can kind of go blur like that. And we are now in a one block high thing, which fits the theme of the, the whole mini game. So uh, we're going to try and go with it. Um, I've just kind of laid out the path, what we're going to try and recreate under the ground down here. Um, a little tiny bit of a maze. I think you move pretty swift, right? When you're swimming around, like, look, we are super duper speedy Rudy. So, in fact, we can, we can test that properly outside, can't we? You can swim very, very fast. So I don't think it's going to be too difficult. I don't want to make it too much of a maze. More just kind of the idea, like, you know, you might make a mistake, but you're probably not going to. Yeah, look, we can move pretty, pretty fast, so that's quite nice. Um, yeah, I want to try and limit the amount of uh, kind of errors you make. I don't want you to have to keep trying every single path. I basically want you to just kind of make your way through. You might not have gone the most efficient way possible. So uh, we've added a little loop around there. We've got one kind of wrong turn, um, two very short wrong turns there. I don't really know how it's going to feel until we get out um, and down, down there under the ground, but... You know what, I, I think it will mostly be okay. Um, and then we want to try and end up here because I figured that why not have the end be a little walk through this area here and come out there. So you start there, you end there. That should feel quite good. Um, we can have some kind of like official finish line over there and then basically when, you know, you just time yourself. We're not going to add any kind of redstone timer or anything like that. You just time yourself um, and I'll trust you for that. So we need some kind of like boosterator bubble column as well that kind of boosts you out of the ground. We want it to try and look quite bright down there. That might be a bit of an issue, but um, yeah, I guess we basically need to dig up all of the ground um, just so that we can actually do this because I'm not an idiot. Well, I mean, I'm not too much of an idiot that I'm going to try and build this underground. We're basically going to build it like one layer deep, right? So we can dig up all the grass. We can build the whole thing. And then afterwards, we can just kind of cover it with one layer of lovely grass and everything should be okay. Let's do a quick pig breed. We've got tons of piggies in there now. Look at them all. Hello, piggies. Oh, okay. So we go like this. We breed, 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 breed. This might be the final breed. You know, any more? Any people hungry? I've got food. All the food. Okay. And great. That should be okay. So this is going to be the entrance to the water area. You climb up out the piggies there. And then you jump in, and like that, hopefully people kind of miss the hole um, as well. That should be a, another little bit of trickery to try and do. So uh, ugh, let's let's try and wade our way through the pigs, because I tried it a minute ago, and wow, is it difficult. And <laughs> we've just added even more piggies now, so... Okay, let's bust bust through there. Okay, so we'll fall in. ta -da! No piggies up this end. Let's do another quick little breed up this end, then. I guess you lot, you lot didn't get it, because you were at the back of the queue. Okay, wait. Carrots away. Okay. So we go up against the edge. We go down. All I see is pig. All I see is pig. Uh, hey. They're pushing. They're pushing and shoving and snouting. Okay. Uh, oh, 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 you enter so many pigs doing this. Come on, out of the way. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, perfect. That was the perfect amount of piggy pushing. Um, hopefully when them babies have grown up, that means they're going to be even fatter, which means they have even more pushing power and take up even more room. So uh, the pig pit ha is definitely complete. That's perfect. I thought that was going to take a lot longer to breed all of those up. I did find a few more wild piggies out and about. But uh, yeah, let's uh, dig up all the floor, lay the tunnels down, and then we can we can give this a go and see if I can even remember the route myself. And boom, just like that, the waterways are in. It's kind of like a sewer. We're building a sewer. Ew. This has just got even grosser. <laughs> so not only is it claustrophobic and, uh, you know, the fear of drowning, but now you've got poop, probably, floating about in there as well. Okay, well, we should now be able to remove this upper guide layer. Whoa, hello, I think I just glitched through the matrix. I can't be sure. 
Um, then we can add some glowstone, just pop to the nether to go and grab some of that, because um, we're quite far from home and it was easier just to jump in the nether than it was to go all the way back to one of our bases. Uh, um, wonderful. Okay, so let's get this uh, lit up. I think we're just going to be putting the glowstone kind of in the roof. Um, I'm thinking maybe on like the intersections, just kind of something like that so that you can kind of... I don't know, you can kind of see... I guess we could do it like that, couldn't we? And then the water shall refill in! Ha <laughs> ha! Fantastic! Okay, I guess we'll put another one right here. Um, again, until we actually kind of get down and see what this looks like when it's all dark and spooky and scary and that, we, we won't really know. So, uh, yeah, let's get this covered in. All right, well, I lied. We're not going to completely cover it over just yet. We're going to test it first, but this should be good enough to be able to tell. We won't know that we're not underground once we're in here. So, uh, right, let's try and do this properly. Haja! Sploosh! I did it, okay. Down we go. It's nice and bright. This is good. Oh, I purposely went the wrong way. That was on purpose. Totally purpose. Okay, wow, it's bright down here. This is great. Okay, and boom. Look at that. I remember the whole way, the whole time, and no mistakes were made whatsoever. I think that was pretty cool. Can we pop back in there and, and check some stuff out? Oh, you need, like, too high water to be able to enter swim mode or something. What if I go into... What if I go into, like, fly mode? Oh, no, I just face-planted the water a bit. No, okay, <laughs> never mind. Let's uh, let's go back in the proper way, shall we? Um, so, yeah, that, that was surprisingly bright. Like, weirdly bright down here. Look, look at this. I've not got, like, night vision on or anything, have I? No. Okay, oh, oh, oh. This is a problem. Don't stand up here, people. Maybe we need to break this, actually. <laughs> I think we might need a, a sort of... Two by two of, of it there. Let's um let's get some water. Throw that in there. No no no. Okay, great, good. Okay, that should resolve that issue, I think. Um, in my testing of how, how you can get into swim mode. That's why we also have this kind of two by two thing here, just so that you can always do it. So then boom, if we stood up, we can go back into it. Zing do do do. Excellent stuff. Okay, very, very nice. Um hopefully this will trick people enough. Um, I am planning on doing some kind of thing where uh, people get two leaderboard books or something, right? Whatever we keep in the scores in. So you get a score for the first time you ever try it, a blind run, um, you know, without really knowing the track properly. And then you get a score book for your best time any other time you do it after that. So you only get one attempt at the initial score thing. I think that's going to be the best way. That'll let people kind of jump into it blindly, have a little bit of a panic, have a little bit of fun. Um, and just try and discover what they need to do that way. And then they'll also be able to, like, hone their skills and become duck champions. That's that's hopefully the plan. Okay, cool. So uh, I'm going to get this filled all in. We will uh, finish up a little bubble column, I'm thinking. A nice little phew, shoot you out. Finish up the end bit. And then we are good to go. Go? What? What? Someone said go? Okay, three, two, one, go. Let's do this. Let's race. Yeah, let's start. Let's set a time. Okay, that was already a bad start. Okay, okay. Obviously, I can't do it blind because I roughly know the course. Yeah, that was close. Um, but I can just set a personal best time. Oh, okay. Oh, this is a nice little relaxing bit, actually. Okay, let's go through. Straight through that one. Oh, I was hoping the middle was going to be open. Why is nothing going? Okay, boost me. Boost me. Oh, no. Oh, oh, okay, we did it. Wait, straight down into here, up through the piggies. Excuse me, piggies. I'm being timed this time. Thank you very much. Oh, no. Oh, there's too many pigs. There are too many. That is a ginormous pig bum. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. Maybe if I bounce up and down, that'll help. Jiggle about a bit. Yeah. Okay, we did it. We did it. Straight down we go. Whoa. Fish mode. Oh, I'm like a homing missile. And... Straight up we come, and across the line. Okay, that felt reasonably good. Let me go and check what my time was, and we can add it to the personal bests book. Okay, I've got my score. Why is there a spider over there? How did that happen? He's run away. Okay, it was 55 seconds. Oh, yes, indeed. This guy, I'm sorry, but you you are not a duck. You are a spider, and that is not the name of this game. Thank you very much. Um, I do need to figure out a way of having these um, turn onable by a player. Um, maybe we'll have it so that when you do the uh, the lever here to start it down, 
um, that maybe we'll change this to a button actually and these will stay down for like 10 seconds and these things will run for a couple of minutes or something and then automatically cut off. Maybe I'll do that in between episodes but yes do let the other hermits know that you want to see them play the duck game and record their time. I will let them know the rules, there's a rule book just over there anyway but I'll let them know the rules in Discord too. But that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. A massive thank you to my wonderful patrons as well, whose names are all over the screen right now. Thank you, each and every one of you, for your wonderful, wonderful support. I really do mean that. Thank you all. But until the next episode, a good a bye. <laughs>